since I'm up here for two hours, I'm going to draw a second one. <laughs> All right. Second one, Greg Pierce from Advanced Lighting Technology from Argyle, Texas. Greg here. <clears throat> All right. Thanks, Greg. Congratulations. So those are our first two, and we're going to be drawing one of these every hour. So please check the Internet Cafe to see if you got lucky. So those are our new power books, and we look forward to telling you about our new consumer portable products sometime later this year. Now, I'd like to jump into software. I'd like to give you updates on OpenGL, Java, and QuickTime first. And to help me do that, I'm going to invite on stage, whoops, invite on stage Avi Tavanian, our Senior Vice President for Software Engineering and a colleague of mine for the last 12 or 13 years. And hello, Avi. Hi, Steve. And to help us, uh, Thanks. And to help us do these demos, Avi and I are going to be assisted by Phil Schiller, our Vice President of Worldwide Product Marketing and the best demo giver in the world. Where's Phil? He's going to come up a little later. He's going to come up a little later. Okay, great. We've got lots of alpha, <laughs> pre-alpha, beta software, so it should be exciting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So OpenGL, as you know, we got a lot of feedback from a lot of you over the last year that you needed a more powerful 3D API and you needed more powerful 3D hardware acceleration. And so we've started building in much more powerful hardware acceleration into our products not only the iMac class consumer products, but in particular our pro products with the RAGE 128, some of the fastest 3D hardware you can get in the industry. You also told us you need a really powerful API to deal with this hardware that was open-ended. And so we got the guidance from you guys to pick OpenGL, which we did and we announced in January as our 3D API. And this is the one we're going to focus on, and this is, excuse me, the one we're going to stick with. And four months later, after announcing that choice, we are shipping it today. OpenGL is shipping today. It's on our website. It's got great performance. You can download it for free at www.apple.com. And uh, we encourage you to go check it out. It will, of course, be built into future versions of the Mac OS. Right. We've actually done a lot of work to optimize OpenGL for the hardware platforms we're shipping today and some of the older ones. It gets just stunning performance on the RAGE 128. Um, and one of the benefits, actually, that our developers tell us about from our OpenGL work is not even the software per se, but the fact that it's very deterministic what they're going to get when they're developing, say, games and running it on a Mac because it's so well integrated with the operating system and there's so few problems with what a customer might have in terms of all <coughs> kinds of different types of uh, graphics cards or whatever, that it's just really simple, and, and it's just much simpler than what they, what they find in the PC space. Yeah, the configuration nightmare of matching OpenGL to the right graphics cards with the right drivers, all that evaporates and, and, and really allows developers to do what they want to do, which is develop their applications. So we've got a demo of this stuff. Right. The 3D stuff is always fun to demo, of course. Let's get Phil up here who's going to help us out with the demo. Come on Good up, morning, Phil. Phil. Phil may run product marketing, but he sure has fun playing all these games. Uh, that's all I do all night. If you're ever up on a server out there and you see somebody with a code name that looks like me, it's usually me out there. Um, 3D is a lot of fun, especially when you get to play. Now, here's an area that I am no expert in. I have no pilot's license, but thanks to OpenGL and some of the great software coming out on the Mac, I can actually fly planes with incredible simulation. This is a piece of software called X-Plane. And for those of you who ever tried it, you know it is wonderful. It truly simulates flying everything from B1s to 747s, which is what I have up here. It uses real GPS data so you can track and fly to different airports around the country. It downloads real weather information from off the Internet. So it's a tremendously lifelike real experience. It's very cool. So here we are. We've picked New York. And I have it paused right now. And we're going to start a little flyby. It has some of the actual building data from some of the buildings around there. Uh, obviously not all of it, but enough. So let's just start the plane flying. Phil, you're heading for a building. I can jump out, take a look around. Sink rate. 
that real-time rendering is just, is just totally awesome. Let's start to take it up, head for the cloud banks. Okay, Phil, this looks kind of interesting, but it looks pretty easy. You think you can land it? 747. <laughs> Don't they fly themselves? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not very good at this, uh, truthfully, but we'll give it a try. So let's go and set up a final. Um, we can pick our airport, a final approach run. Let's try JFK. You can actually pick what runway you want. <laughs> let's pick 22 left. And before we start, let's make it a little more fun. Let's actually go and change the time of day. Make it a little interesting. Let's see it in the evening. Now you can see the runway at night. Okay, now, luckily, none of you are actually on board this flight. <laughs> Bring down my flaps. Reduce my airspeed a bit. Not too much. <laughs> We're coming in. Phil, I think you're missing the runway. We'll get there. We'll get there. Give me a chance. There are exits to the left and right. <laughs> Well, let's get our gear down before it's too late. Hold on. Yikes. Hold up. Hold up. 15 feet. Cool. 25 feet. Good job, Phil. They obviously do land themselves. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Phil. All right. We employ very multifaceted people here at Apple. <laughs> okay. So that's OpenGL. What about Java? We've, all, we've talked for the last